Campbell, Campbell. Not that I'm zombie. I'm a zombie. Campbell to Kaku. Away in UCM. Sambo to Keno. Louvu Vamu. Yala. Um, all praises. Hope everybody's doing well. It's good to speak to people about these things that's happening. Uh, we're in the midst of something big here. And we're going to get into that. I forgot to change my name. Sorry. I'm going to change this to so uh, Um, Can't spell it, so I have to do it again. So, Kukwisi uh, Ambote, welcome once again to another uh, message. You know, the... <laughs> Sorcerer is getting very creative. I, I, I'm always praying for the Banabe to be solidly and the rest of the world as well. I'm well aware of the bridge collapse and those that were there. I hope that the people will be uh, rescued. But again, it goes back to, I'm gonna talk about judges in Isaiah 57. And I give all honor to all of you. I'm going to start my music. Again, I don't have the rights and copyrights to this song. It's for the edification of our people and my channel. I do not have, it's not for redistribution of any kind, nor for me to benefit from. So I'm going to get into my music. Share my screen. And we're going to get started. Uh, this is if it's um to seek a many if it's morning where you are. And, uh, Salama Betuabu. Big bomb today. Big bomb. Hembo, hallelujah. Bayete, Nkosi, Sakupanzo, Nzinga. 
our praises. Again, Kwiso Yombote, welcome to all of you. I hope you wiki chila for this message. Again, it's um these are some these are the times that we're gonna be we're just getting started. Um you know, they talk about this was the year of exposure. Okay. We've been exposing and I've been learning. I mean, I actually started getting some stuff exposed to me in the nineties. Didn't realize how big it was until now, but um, it's getting huge now as to the biggest deception ever, including what I'm going to tell you, the big bomb. The, the fourth son of Noka, the fourth son. You've heard some people talk about a, a spirit named Hashem. The hit, this is the hidden hand. This is an, uh, a spiritual being. The His name is Sin uh, Shamash to the Canaanites. Shamash is another name for him. It was the rebirth of Cain through an act that was caused by when um, the spirit of the Lily fell upon Norka through, of course, his mother, his wife and her grief for the flood that Tatan Zambi did, where she caused, and it was in the, uh, we're going to do the curse of drunkenness, and this is going to tell you exactly why is it, why do women get so promiscuous and get so open when they're out, when they're, when they're intoxicated? Why do men have the same problem? This is called the this curse of drunkenness. And it's always going to bring out repressed emotion. This is why you even see in the cultures like Japan, if you're under the influence of alcohol, you can say whatever you want to your boss um, and not get fired for it. I know there's a thing that they do. Um, what causes so many car accidents? It's actually not... <laughs> Law enforcement, you're going to find out some things about this today because um, there's Jekyll and Hyde, okay, with, with this particular deity. Jekyll and Hyde, of course, is referring to Lucifer's good and bad side, okay? So there's, there's those who are caring for you, and then there are those who want to destroy you, and it all goes back to uh, you being grafted in and I'm going to talk about, um, Ju uh, that's why I wanted to pull up, um, Judge Nzuzi, which means judge, judges 10. I'm going to speak on what the world doesn't know. I'm going to, it's going to be a big bomb. Uh, we're going to talk about this particular prayer. And we're going to tell, I'm going to show you who Akkad is. Akkad is actually Babylonian. Isis, Ra, and El, which they want to say it's the prince of, they say it's the prince of God is what it means. I'm going to tell you what God they're talking about. Because it's not in Fumu Yahweh Kong, Tatan Zambi and Pungu. This, I'm going to show you this is the civil war of Isolele, okay? When, um, when you idolize, you are constantly making spiritual connections to the opposite side. And in that process, you are committing adultery and see the word for it. And you're gonna, it's gonna look familiar to you it's called Bizumba. Now, people have probably done the dance Zumba. Zumba. You better say hallelujah <laughs> if you're really doing it. Because Bizumba uh, is when it means you're actually, this is the way that they have lied to you. Bizumba. Okay, so we're going to talk about, well, let me do this first. Imana. 
Mwana mwana sayi setu. Yenge, 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 pemba kolunga, kolunga akongo. Mwana, mwana mpili, kolunga mpili, tatanzambi, mpungu. Kolunga na, na ntoto. Kolunga na, I always forget the word for fire. Sorry. Kolunga na ntia. Tatanzambi, mpungu na ntia. Bayetu nkosi. Kolunga na Kolunga na kusoba, kolunga na ntia, kolunga na nsoba. Sorry, I got to still on my kikongo, sorry. Bayete and Kosi Kemba, hallelujah. Tatanzami and Pungu, Father, we give matone masakla for this day, matone masakla for what you're doing, matone masakla for the revelations that continue to come down as you begin to open up the Zulu. Bayete and Kosi. Uh, Tatanzami will ask that with this uh, revelation I give that people will come to the understanding of how the world's been deceived in so many uh, ways, the creator and himself and all the things that are and what the people have been meant to be. Bayetu Nkosi Kemba, hallelujah. We honor Kuswa Kongo Fumu Yisu, Mwane Velela, Moyan Peve. Asalaamu Maliki Makongo, Mbote de Kunkuluntu, Salakyambote, I mean, uh, um, when I come, but, uh, when I come, but, um, Kukwisi Ambote Nkuluhu Basantu, Basantu, that is solely Basantu na Abantwe, Basantu Maleki Makongo, Basantu Kukwisi Ambote come down to this message and, uh, Zambi Mawesha, Zambi Akobenesha, Zambi Akobenesha, Zambi Kolungu. Kusoba, the change. Kudisumba, okay. To better understand the concept of adultery. Adultery is more than just cheating on a spouse. This is what the people aren't being told. Adultery is also about cheating on the one who created the heavens and the earth, okay? When we have the, 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 hit, the missing story of Lily, the deceiver, okay, what we're not being told is that when you reject a Congo Yave, you have, this is why, this is why, um, this is why the real reason why Lucifer um, was kicked out for disobedience because in the Most High's concept of Wakanda it's meant to be both Wakanda family or what they call family which is also Dibuta okay or spouse which means like we are in Quelani, or another word for it is Toko, for male child, which is why. So it's like, we're not just a family, but we are also like married to the spirit of Nzambi and Pungu. This is where Nzambisi plays the role in our understanding of male and female. Everything was supposed to be male and female. You know, that when they made the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit and you saw the the, the cartoon where everything was singing, um, what people don't know is when Tanzambi created the heavens and the earth with all of his creation, everything was singing to him. So there was the Zanza, as we have talked about, the Zanza that came out and Adama uh, uh, Tata Awa Tata Adamaya was also singing to the Most High. He was like a Maliki. Everything in the creation was singing and uh, praising the Tanzambi. Yimbila, 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 Gambe, Yimbila, Yaabe, Yimbila, Kakokongo, Yimbila, Yimbila. Praise, crying out and praise animals, creatures, Yimbila. Okay. People are going to find that to study science, they're going to say there's no possible way. But people talk about the hum that people hear even coming from the earth. And why it's just a hum now is because this, this is the spell 
of the concept of yimbila or praise. So what the world doesn't understand is, is that with the most high creation, because our Congo, he was a melanate, he's melanated. His 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 uh the emperor Pemba Kalunga was melanated. They don't have to say be dark or you know, have to be dark melanated, it's just melanated. And within him, melanation is injected into the earth, the total. Okay. Melanin was part of the creation as well. Okay. The reason why you know, and, and I can't fault black people, white people, because, um, you know, there are those who hate it and then there are those who love it. OK. And I'm going to talk about why it's, it has not. See, why white people are attracted to black people has nothing to do with um, black, the whole black, white thing. It's because everything is about spirit. OK. Spirit created the flesh not the other way around. When Tatan Zambi created Adama Yakongo and Mama Awa, well, first he formed Lily. This is why he was mad. <laughs> okay. Because of the fall of, of Lucifer before he created Lily, she had a um she had a split heart because of the tainting. When Lucifer fell, it became the division of two worlds. The whole creation was split like this, even the heavens of the heavens. Okay, this is why the war began between king the, the kingdom of the crowns. And this is going to be where we get the word corona. Oh, wait, not, not corona, sorry. <laughs> That's the Spanish word for crown. Uh, okay, so when we say the word halo, let me see if they give me the translation. In Samuel, they're going to call it light too. This is why they call it the false light. Okay. Um, halo, this is why you're going to see really why there's a halo around the sun. Okay, because there's actually several. This is the drawings, the paintings, even what you see. The Maliki Makongo, as we talked about, and that's why they took out the Book of Hanoka, have crowns. Okay, the kingdom of Congo in Totila is not just a place. It wasn't just a country. It was Mpoya uh, Mpeve Yanzambi, the the Moya Yanzambi, the Mwanda Yanzambi, and Toto was also Congo in Totila. It was the entire creation. Okay, it was the entire heavens, it was the entire um, uh, Kulunga, like, but like I said, fire and change, Tia, Ibasoba. Okay, so when he created the Tia, the fire, the, there, was a, there was a fire within a fire. That's why when, when Lucifer wouldn't bow down to the image of, of Adamu Yakongo, it was like, he said, I am Tia, fire. Okay, and if you say flesh, he is in Sunni, okay, Sunni. So now you're gonna see, <laughs> that makes sense why you're gonna have a tribe called the Sunnis, flesh, okay? And Sunni means flesh um, and, and Tia means fire. All right, so Tia is what Lucifer said, I am fire, but see, this is where he messed up because when when Adamuya was made, he was pure pure light. Okay, he was like in Samu, he was uh, in Samu light. So he was also Monikongo, which means the keeper of the of the truth, the keeper of the kingdom. He's like a keeper, he's like a um the delegation or the power of the earth. Okay, so he's a king as well as a high priest. He was in Ganganzambi and he was Monikongo, okay? So the concept is with the with the different realms because the, the, fall, the angels had themselves children, okay? But they were formed through fire. 
This is where you get the different levels. And there were other beings that started to come into fruition after this whole thing with Lily, when she started to make, um, when she rejected um, Adama, she started to make children among the uh, the fallen ones. Well, she, she did one with Adama, and then she also did one with the fallen ones, okay? Because every time you commit a, a zone of sin, okay, this is why we call them masindisi, okay, this disumu or masumu or zono and osa, okay? So when we commit uh, masumu, sin, disumu, okay, you can even see that's probably where to get the word sumo wrestler from because um, a lot of our language is in other people's language. Okay, the sumo, what that means is you have consecrated a spiritual being with the devil and also his kingdom, okay? So when you look at the... The, the 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 god who was called okay when we're going to talk about this particular deity all right this is the it says the god of sun and justice shamas so when they go to do this prayer this is who they're actually praying to. And this is actually the rebirth of the fourth son, who was the spiritual divinity. See, it says um, the moon god, Nana, and Sinan's wife. Okay, Nana. So Nana means eight. This is where it says Lucifer became like the most high because the most high is the completion. Because what it is, is when he rested he also came to what was called completion which means he said everything is the way it should be that's why he meant it was in balance after he was done so when we talk about balance everything had its proper place everything had its proper order uh it was kim kim vama or bukati kati okay so Kati, so if you say your name is Kati, it means balance. Kati, Kati, Bukati, Bukati, Kati, balance. Cats. This is what, now you're going to see where um, the cat gets their name from. Uh, when cats, they say have balance. Okay. Bukati, Kati, balance. Okay. They say that's an old oh, cats always land on their feet. Okay, not always. <laughs> All right, so um, the we call okay. So if to give the devil another name, Kariam Pemba, it would be Umvanga or chaos. Umvanga, okay. So he would be Umvanga, and he's the opposite of. Bukati Kati, balance. So the way when when Kaina was um, tricked into killing Abeli by his gods, because they were multiple, he basically caused Mavanga in the shedding of the blood of an innocent person who had done nothing to him. A belly. So now what that did is it consecrated a, a spiritual connection to Mvanga, the god of Mavanga, the god of chaos. So what people don't know is when you idol worship, you become Mavanga, meaning that you are contributing spiritually to the kingdom of darkness in that you are creating children, you are creating uh, different beings. That's why I say you got to be careful what spirits you're talking to 
the world doesn't understand. That's why they took out the book of Abana Apocalypse because many people don't know um, we have become, this is what becomes pride. Okay. When we say stiff neck, lulendo, lulendo or pride or stiff neck. Okay. Untungolo. See, untungolo. That's when we go against the most high. Untungolo, stiff neck. Okay. So what happens here is when we go back to the curse of drunkenness. Now, the name Noah is the negative energy of Noka. So Noah is the part that created Mavanga. And of course, they kind of covered this up, okay? So when Noka goes to do his drunkenness, he makes a covenant with Lucifer, which he should never do. Because, um, so it says Satan thereupon slaughtered a lamb and then, a, and then in succession, a lion, a pig and a monkey. Now, I want you to consider this because these are considered gods for this being they call Hashem. Okay. All right. So the blood of each was killed and flowing into the vine that he conveyed qualities of wine. So it, basically what he was doing was he was going to make this vineyard intoxicating. But the part is, is that Lily was involved. Okay. So when he said, um, um, So thus he conveys Nolka, Nolka, but the cause of wine before man drinks of it, he is innocent as a lamb. Okay. If he drinks of it more, more moderately, he feels strong as a lion. So this is what they, why they call it liquid courage. As, let me give you some of my liquid courage. Okay. If he drinks more of it than he, than he can bear, he resembles the pig. So the pig is like a, you're, you're like a, um, you're, you're, you're slobbery, you're, oh, you're disgusting. And if he drinks to the point of intoxicating, he behaves like a monkey, he dances around, he sings obscenely and knows, and knows not what he is doing. Okay? I'm sure you've been to many parties that you've seen people like this. And it's like, whoa. Because what it does is they know, he knows our body is made of water. Mai. And what the, he did with this is in the intoxication of the alki. This is why they call it spirits. So when 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 Lucifer created the intoxication, this is why we talk about becoming spiritually drunk as well as um, physically drunk. Okay. Now he talks about the great. Now I know this is where you're going to get the fruit of the loom. Uh, so had, that's why you have the the apple and the grape. If you go to the fruit of the loom, um, the fruit of the loom, fruit of the loom slogan, okay, you watch this image, you see the apple and the grape in it. You see the apple is in the middle and the grapes are surrounding it, okay? So, why is the apple in the middle and then the grapes? Because this is well, what we call apple ale. And you can even call it, people make, you know, wine, uh, wine, wine ale. Okay, wine, or like you say, or wine, um, bino. Bino is what we call it. We say wine. Because the reason why it calls it wine, bino, the reason why it's called wine is because that's what's going to be happening to you. When you get up in the morning, you're like, oh, oh my hand, oh, my hand. 
I can't, oh, how much did I drink? Oh, my head, you're whining about your headache. <laughs> okay. Really, it's a whine. Like he said, ah, whine. It's going to make me go binu. It's going to make me too much binu. It's going to make me whine. Okay. That's what he's talking about. Okay. Everything is all connected, people. People don't even know these things because they cover it up. Let me hide this now, okay? Oh, sorry. So when you have been you, too much been you, you're going to be whining in the morning because you're like, oh, I got a headache. Oh, I'm spitting headache. Oh, why? Oh, whining, okay? What did I do? Okay, alcohol. That's why it's a spirit. So now, um, when you, when he did this, and this is not the whole story because they're lying because they're trying to keep her out of the picture. He created Shema, Shamash, and some. Uh, he brought back because remember in the story that they kind of covered up and see when the Mecca smacked two ball Cain's head like he did he popped his head off that's why he said oh head pop my head popped off that's where they pop a top that's why you get the cork that goes they pop it that's what when you have the balloon that goes pop okay he took his head he popped so he popped uh two ball Cain's head like a balloon because he was like a he was strong he was he was powerful his hands were like the most he had that mightiness so when he clapped his hands together the head went pop you know, and that's why he became beheaded. And his brothers were ticked off at it because, you know, it was his fault. He went tricking him to kill him. I'm like, this is the way it gets says, like, they always want to blame somebody else. And it's like, you the one tricking your grandfather. I don't understand why you just don't understand this. They never want to take the blame for their own action. And that's why we talk about accountability. The true accountability is to learn how not to commit adultery against the god of creation when it says like i said in christianity they think that they're, they're they're always following the first commandment it's like no because for one the word god comes from the connection of the um the, the, the dramatic tribes which they was which was the, the the chief that they were calling as we learned is was actually the reincarnation or the spiritual rebirth of another version of the dog god. He was always there. He came in so many different forms, not even funny. Um, that's why they make the Doberman look like him. Okay, and the German Shepherd as well with this with the pointy ears. And this is also B-I-N-G-O. Okay. The keepers of the secrets, what we kind of call the the, 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 uh, the the keepers of secrets. So we're gonna say. I don't know. There might be another name to be. Uh, it might be a secret. I know we have abbreviated words. Okay. Okay. So like, Bantu Yina Ke Bumbaka Binsweki. So Binsweki, the secrets. Monsweki, uh, Binsweki, a keeper of secrets. Let's go secrets. Okay, Ben Sweki or Mansweki. So the Banabete Visolele, that's why Mfumu used to say, we have secrets. We are keepers. We are Ben Sweki of Dutton Zambi's knowledge. Okay, so when um, basically when you get somebody drunk, it's like um, they can't stop talking. It's like spill the beans already. Tell us what, you know, you can talk to people and one of the things that happens is when Noka became Noah, okay, he created a force speed and spirit that even though they may have tried to stop it, but I don't think that story could, could be right on. I, I have to get confirmation on that one. But that Hama Kama, he, he tried to stop it. But what happened is the woman of drunkenness, which is really connected to Lily, that's why she makes... She's fertility and also grain offering and wine. She, her ground, she can grow the vineyard, okay? 
Um, she's also poison ivy or vine, okay? She's vine, really. This demon is connected with her. Um, the grapes of the vine that, uh, that go around the apple tree, they're like one and the same, okay? So when you do sin, that's why we call then when you sin, you become the god of sin. You become like the Baphomet, okay? So now, power or N'Golo with Tatanzambi is completely the opposite. Your crown must be shiny. Your crown must be big. You must not be the false light or the halo of Samuel. You must be the good light, the Umbote in Samuel. Um, so you say the good light. And I know I'm doing a lot of stuff today. So when we say the good light, you would say in Semo Yambote is what you want with the once again the crown. The crown, the Kolunsi, okay. You want that to be the the goal. The bad light would be in Semo Yambi. Yambi. Now this is why they this is why they're telling people um because we do like what's called a um you combine the words together. Okay, they say, oh, that means Yambi or Yambe is bad. Okay. It's like no, it's because in Zim in, in Zambi or Yambi, Yambe, okay, is is not it's like Yaabe. Yaabe, Yabe, Yaabe, Zambe, but we've had, we spoke with a nasal. B, okay, so ensemble, okay, um, means mm, B, bad. So there would have been a distinction. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have put it together. It would have been ensemble, Yambi, Yambi, like that. So it's kind of like the inflex of the, how you would say it. Zambe, Yambi. Okay, like that. It's like the inflection of the word would have been EMB, bad like. Okay. So in Zambi and Pungu, when we talk about the eagle, so when we say eagle, which when Zambi and Pungu, okay, in Gonzulu, in Gonzulu, Zambi and Pungu, in Zonzulu, um, the eagle was symbolic of freedom and flight, okay? But it's also a bringer of food from above, okay? How they like to bring the food. So in the case of um, Kaina, his spirit would be worms because he would be infested with uh, demonic um, filth, which is when we say unclean. And then you had Abele, he would have been full of manna, which is like good bread. Okay. And Seta and them. So like when we talk about the kingdom of darkness, the idea from the beginning was the kingdom of darkness must eradicate the kingdom of light. The kingdom of light must eradicate the kingdom of darkness, the, ever, the, the struggle of the beginning of humanity. So when it comes to the judgment that Tatanzami put upon the Malikis and of course the offspring of them that came from them, the, the concept was we need to cause them to destroy one another in this curse, okay? Well, the way the objective of their lineage was we must destroy the lineage that will bring forth light. Okay. That the zombie must is about destroying the lineage that bring forth darkness. Uh, Lucifer is about the destruction of the of the uh, lineage that brings forth light in Semel. Okay. So in his masquerade, he uses the sorcery. Sorcery brings worms, brings um, sickness brings uh, bad things to you. It causes people to, you know, things to heart, 
to do bad. It's like you're bringing in entities of the demonic realm. Okay. See, like this is when they're talking about in Zinga, Yina Bome Tula, Nan Intu Yangol, Ngozulu, Sambuya, Sadisa, Yonakua, Diaka, Ve Bantu Boma. So this would be the, um, the, it says, so it talks about a blinder on the eagle's head helps eliminate the bird's fear of humans. So um, a blind eagle is what they made us. To the people who don't know they were being fed by their own, it's like two sets, it's like two sets of birds. You have this one over here and this one over here, okay? So to get it more understanding about our family feud is to make the, so when you talk about um, family or uh, what they call civil war, Bitumba Nakati Yabantu or what they call Bita. And let me see if I can get it. Bapangi baka, Bakala. So it's like um, I'm trying to get Yandi Monaka na Bitumba Mosi Yena Kusa Lamaka Nakati Ya Bimvuka Mosi na Africa. Okay, so remember I said Mvanga would be what we call chaos. Okay, so all praises to Tanzan Bikembo. When we talk about what the world has experienced is basically I talked about a family feud. What caused this family feud? Okay, that many people get into the military and they'll say, oh, war has been here since the beginning. Yeah, it didn't always be like that. It's like you're going to listen to these people who are teaching you lies the imbalance comes from disobedience. The balance comes from obedience of the natural law. If you obey the natural law, there's no war. <laughs> okay? That's the whole concept. Let me say it again. If you obey the natural law, there's no war. Period. If you disobey the natural law, there's no peace. So salama or peace comes from obedience to the natural law. You cannot obey the natural law with the masquerader. It's impossible. He cannot. He has no peace. So this is how you know what God you serve, because if you cannot find peace, it means you're talking to the one that's bringing umvanga. Okay? If you cannot come to a peaceful resolution, like you see what's going on in the Middle East, as they're calling it, right? Why can they never have peace? Because they're not talking to the God of peace. It's not possible. Why can't Muslims be at peace? Because they're not talking to the God of peace. Uh, why can't Judaism have peace? Because they're not talking to the God of peace. Why can't Christians have peace? Because they're not talking to the God of peace. Same thing with you dealing with all the religions you talk about, okay? Native Americans, you know, like we said, there's a time for everything, but what it is is that what causes the chaos is the wrong God. Chaos out of order, where versus no chaos, none, peace, Salama. And see, when Tatanzami said you were at peace, you are a thousand years, you're one day with him. You walk one day, you walk 1,000 years. That's the way it should have been. So when the, when the, when the, count, when the, when the numbers started to dwindle was because of the lack of peace disharmony okay that's why the amount harmony causes disharmony harmonious when they say we're together because remember the fallen angels also are musicians they put things together you can create harmonies that change the water the, the spiritual um, water has um frequency that's why they use water with frequency so Satan Zombie's kingdom has a frequency and Lucifer's kingdom has a frequency. It's all, 
And like I tell people, they know that this is how they can create harmony or peace or distress. Because Lucifer can pretend to bring peace, but it won't last for long. That's why I say, man, you're trying to disturb my peace. Well, you have to when you're not in the right God. Okay? So, the Banabetu of Isolele, and this is why Hanoka was also called Salomon, the king of peace. The concept is obedience, and what we want to call obedience Uh, can't spell today. Okay. Bulemfa. Bulemfu. Bulemfu. It's actually Bulemfu because the F would be a peace out. Bulemfu. Bulemfu to the um the law of the Tanzambi and Pungu brings eternal peace inside of you. Disobedience what that does is it brings mvanga, chaos. Okay, so when you look at the scripture that says, uh, let's go to Judges. We're going to go to where it starts. Okay, and after Abamalek there arose to found Isaiah, Tola, the son of the Pua, the son of Dodo, a man of Isusaka, who dwelt in Sima, uh, Samir, and my Ephlami, and he judged Ephlami because that's not Ephraim, is not how you say it. And he judged, and he judged Iswale 20 and 23 years, and he died and he buried. And he judged Isole 20 and 23 years, and he died and he was buried in Solomon. And after he arose to Jai Karati, he judged Isole 20 and 22 years. Okay. And after 32 sons that rode on 32 ass colts, they had 30 cities and were called Habajar unto this day, which are in the land of Gilad. Now, Gilad, uh, they renamed this place, but it's, I know it's down there in the land. I've, it's, they showed it to me. You know, it's like down in um, Zimbabwe or somewhere. And, Zai, and Zai, Yai, this is what Yai died and was buried in Kamo. Kamo. Okay, Kamo. Um, Kampa, it would be Kama okay, in that area, okay. And the children of Isolde did evil. Now it says, and the children of the so now, and okay, and the children of Isolde they did evil against the side of Adambi and Pungu and served Balaam and who A S T R. Oh, this is where you get the word Ash, Tar, and Tar, and the gods of Syria and the gods of Zidon and the gods of Moab and the gods of the children of Ammon and the gods of the Philistine and for Sork and Fumu and served them not. So now, when this happens, okay, when you serve these gods, you're going to create spiritual children with them. It's going to be interactions of spirituality. So now you're going to create opposites of who we are, okay? You no longer have peace, you have vanga, chaos. And the anger in Fumu was hot against Israel and he sold them. Now see, don't tell me, <laughs> don't tell me the most High don't sell us. He sold us to the Philistine. And who was their God? D-A-G-A-N, okay? and into the hand of the children of Ammon, which is really Ra, okay? And in that year, they vexed and oppressed the children. See now, and in that year, they vexed and oppressed the children. So they vexed us. They made us with no peace. And we made us like a donkey. See, that's why the Mosai said the donkey, the donkey god, Kaina, he said, this is all connected to Hashem or Shamash. As they call him, similar. So now, when we look at the world where people are living in total chaos and distress, looking for peace and calm, why do you have a hard time finding it? Okay, is because you are serving the same gods again in verse six. And they're not talking about this. 
okay? We vexed the Most High, and we went back to these gods. Okay? So then, in the year that they vexed and oppressed, this is why I tell, I tell people, the Christian world is completely deceived. You cannot serve you cannot just do whatever you want and say that you are saved. It's a lie. You cannot just think that you obey the law, statutes, and commandments and still go out and do however you please and think that you're saved. No. Okay? At the same time, you cannot assume that you don't break the... It's like, oh, well, everybody does sin. Okay, that's the whole point. When you are in sin, you commit adultery. So then you cannot stay in the same connection with the Father. And this is why the, 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 the people who created this whole lie, they know you commit adultery every single day because um, you do not serve the true God of Isolele, because he would not tolerate the worship of idols. Not even close. And then he goes and he says to the, um, to the said, the, the children of Isolele, like I told people, the Banabetu of Isolele, we have done this several times. It isn't like, you know, we got delivered to these people. And like Tatanzami, some of you said, we never learn. Now you see when Putin broke open the vault. Now you see who never learned to stop worshiping everybody else's gods but ours. Okay? This is us. The Banabeta Visolede. We are the ones that have made the world like the way it is. The reason why the world doesn't know that they're now serving these gods is because we messed up again. That the zombies sold us to Rome. Oh, Roman, they, they came down and called him. Nope. <laughs> when King Nzinga went and did the contract and he was under the influence of the Bino, <laughs> okay, he was sold to Rome. The problem is the Christian churches don't believe. That the, that the Catholic Church was serving these gods. Yes, they were. That's the lie. Because when they you when people, when they are bewitched, and this is what sorcery does, sorcery will make you believe you're doing something that you're not. That's how it works. You're under a spell. So when they would say the Pope represents the creator, there's no way he created idols all over the place. You're under a spell to think that you can bow down to things made out of wood and stone and, and carved out of metal, okay? But they took that word out. See, wood and stone, all it meant, man, it, there's a word that we use called idols. Okay, or what do you call idol? Because when you translate things, they don't, so kiteki, or kifanisu, Okay, Kiteki. Now you're gonna see what you get the word tech, technical tech. Kiteki. Okay, idolatry. So Kiteki. Okay. Um. So you're gonna even they're gonna even use it. If you will remove your disgusting idols from before me. Okay, and it says, MP. Mpi kana nge katula biteki na nge yanzanzi ya ntwala na mono. Okay, so this is how the people don't understand that they have created idols without you even realizing, and they're disgusting. You must re that's why they know idolatry is a disgust. Okay, but they're covering this up. When you go uh, idolize singers and idolize your pastor and idolize your wife or idolize anything that they have created for idolatry, even toys, okay, you are committing kiteki. 
you are um, idolatry. Let's see if I can find the word. That's why they did it with innocence. It's not innocent. No. That's it. So it's like Lusambu Yak Biteki. So for Banabetu, see, they call it even zealotry. Okay. So when Ufumu Yusu was talking to the Sanhedrin, he said, you called the children to break the Most High's law. What he's saying is you're turning them into idol, idol worshipers of the enemy. You're making spiritual children and spiritual covenant with these gods. Okay? Sorry, I got kind of stiff here. So, the system that we live in, and this is how we know. Now, people are going to say this is a lie. Many people don't understand that bloodshed is a form. When, you, when you're doing bloodshed under the wrong pre, uh, pretext, it's going to be called idolatry. When you're doing it under the proper pretext, it is not the same. Which means that if it's meant to consecrate with the good God, it's okay. If it's meant to consecrate with the bad God, you're going to have problems. Okay? So when you are practicing idolatry, you are passing the children over to Moloch, M-O-L-O-C-H. What this is doing is you're creating spiritual bonds and spiritual children with the whore. Okay? So when Noka became Noah is when he defiled himself with the drunkenness and he conceived a child out of it in the spiritual world. Okay? This, this was the rebirth of the spirit of Cain, which then fell upon his child, Kanani, that then fell upon, because then you open the door, the demon will then attack your family. He opened the door, the demon came in and attacked his family, and those two did what they did, and next thing you know, off we're in running. It started from there. Okay, so then that particular entity, that spirit now replaces, is trying to replace the one called Nsemu. Nsemu, the light. That bond with darkness now wants to create, destroy the light. Okay, so the agenda of what has been happening and continues to happen is for the kingdom of darkness is to destroy the kingdom of light. The kingdom of light is trying to destroy the kingdom of darkness, but the kingdom of darkness is masquerading as the kingdom of light. Okay. This is one of the reasons why it's about spirit. It always is, but they've covered this up. If you don't see it's about spirit, then you just do whatever you want. Oh, scientists say, uh, okay, yeah. That wasn't meant for, for them. That was meant for us. They wanted the Banabilaka, in order to destroy us, we need to give them our crown. And they hold it for ransom. That's what it's called, Kolunsi, ransom. Unkuduli. So when the, when the kingdom of darkness um, says, we have your crown, what you going to give us for it? This is when the Most High says, I got to pay the goat God to get your crown back. This was the role of the high priest. The Unga, that's the Ungangan zombie. That was his job. The, what they want to call the Kohenim is to ransom your sins for your uh, 
ransom your sins for your iniquities. So when Tatanzami comes to eat and consume, when he comes to go and does the sacrifice, he is also ransoming your debt. So it's he's paying the, this this wicked goat god, the Unkunduli, a ransom for your crown. Okay, you see people. So, so what is happening is when you commit sin, this is where the word kidnapping comes from. Okay. When you commit sin against Tatanzambi, you are he's kidnapping you. So now Tatanzami has to pay a ransom. And while he has you kidnapped, he's doing whatever he wants until you repent, meaning that you're consecrating spiritual babies with this entity and the wife. Okay. And Fumu Yisu as the as the so then when um King Konga made a promise to Solomon. You don't even know about this. And Davidi is that all of Isolele's ransom would be through the high priest of um, all of the Abantwe who sinned against the Most High. Their ransom would be paid for. Okay, the ransom would be paid for when Akuso Kongo Fumis. When he became a Gangan zombie and the Itempeli, the Nzon zombie of Tatan zombie. But the problem was Hashem, and this is what was the issue. When Solomon built the temple of the, of, of the Moabites, the fourth child of Noka, which was coming through the bloodline, that was causing people to be stiff necked, that was causing people. This is when he talks about when you sin against me, it'll go to your fourth, fifth, and sixth, you know, down to generations. Okay. His sin carried into his bloodline. But the repentance is what he had his he had to fulfill. But the problem was in his sin, his children also sinned, but they never repented. This is what happened to many of the bloodline. They didn't repent of the sin. He did, but they didn't. So now they make a covenant in the spirit with the fourth child that's created through the infidelity that he did, okay, as he committed adultery against the Most High. What's that he did? Because he is the father and he's also our you know he's our wakanda it's like you turn your back on the family that's what happened when satani got kicked out you're turning your back on the family so i'm turning my back to you if you want me to turn around my face you better apologize i'm not gonna i'm not gonna talk to you till you apologize that's what that is okay lucifer most high's face remains hidden, even though they can, because he never he can never apologize. So his back is always turned to the imposters. So his face remains hidden, even when they're talking, when they're when there's interaction. Okay. What we did as a nation, and this is how you know Christians are deceived. Tatan Zombie does not see them or they would see his face. But then when they say the whole purpose of Kusul Kong was you've seen me, you've seen the father. Okay. That's why to now start calling him a Bantu or Muntu and calling him this is a big problem because of the images that they have portrayed over the years. People have drawn this on their bodies. They put that's why the most high said that's what causes that. Your, your temple being the body. And this is where I can tell why other nations are deceived when they're that's this is why they're gonna do pagan things. 
if you don't know the most high, you're going to do pagan things. If you know the most high, you're not going to do pagan things. If you don't know the most high, you're going to do, you're going to worship idols. If you know the most high, you're not going to worship my idols. Okay. Therefore, the shaming comes from, like I said, Lucifer is all about shaming. It comes from scolding, comes from the dog God, who is about obedience to his um, non, his cold heart. That's why he has, when you circumcise your heart, your heart is warm. When you don't, when your heart is cold and you have, and you're callous, this is where you do treat people with no condom, with condemnation, as if you don't sin. Okay. Condemnation means it's like you didn't do anything wrong. That's why Fumu Yusu was like, hey, you act like you didn't do anything wrong against the father. Who are you to condemn anybody when you are hypocrites? Okay. So now the biggest bomb that I'm dropping is this fourth son has gone through the lineages of all of the children of the Seta, of, of Noka, and created chaos. This is why people started killing each other again. This is why people needed Seta, because he's a dead god. He's not a living god. He was created out of what? Disobedience. So you're creating, when you are Maliki Makongo, a Bantwe, you create um, you create spiritual beings that are against you. They turn against you because they are created through iniquity. These spirits follow the children of Isolide throughout their generations. That's why when he goes and he says, uh, when he comes and he says, um, and the children of Esau, they cried out unto the Infumu, saying, we have sinned against thee both because we have forsaken our Infumu and we serve Balaam. And Infumu said to do not, did I not deliver you from the Ingipitine, from the Amorites, and from the children of Ammon, and from Philistine, the Sidon, also Amalekites, the Monarch, these people still exist today. This, this is what's causing the problem around the world right now. These people are all fighting each other <laughs> because of this fourth child, okay? Because of Hashem, as they're calling him, okay? Have, yet, yet you have forsaken me and served under God, wherefore I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto your gods you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the same time of your tribulation. So this is how you know if our creator did not tolerate crying out to other idols, there's no way the other nations he would tolerate. He wouldn't even, it's like, there's no way. I don't tolerate it. Why would I let other people do it just because now they say I'm saved in the blood of Jesus Christ? The Messiah don't tolerate, see the real Messiah, he don't tolerate idol worship. It's in Revelation, it's written there. He even scolded, he told him, Maliki Makongo, go tell them to stop sacrificing the idols and return to their first love. But now under the spell of the sorcerer, <laughs> oh my God, he has now compromised and said, oh no, it, this is okay as long as you know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you can sacrifice unto idols. No, you can't. That's the whole concept of being deceived. Okay, the sorcerer is buying your allegiance through his lie because he will try, to, he will pay you to destroy the bloodline that should not be bowing down to idols because that is his enemy even though he came from us he is not with us okay this is what happens to many people that turn and go and serve other gods then they become your crown 
Your crown goes to them. It powers them up. Okay? Your crown goes and see the other nations will say, well, wait a minute. We have crowns. Yes, we do. No, you don't. I'll tell you how I know you don't. Because if you had crowns, you would see the halo God. You would see who you serve. Because then you would know what you're praying to. When he says, you know not what you worship. Okay? The kingdom of the crowns always knew who their God was. They just kept going to the halo side. Like a bunch of, oh my gosh. It's like, that's why I said stiff neck. And that's because when we would allow ourselves to be spellbound, this is how it works. Until finally he said, go. You have to understand, he's done this so many times. That's why he's like, hey, y'all get, that's why he did it. He's like, I'm tired of this. Even with Mesendacy coming up here telling you to stop. Okay? So you want to understand why the kingdom of Congo did and Totila and the, the, the black, the, the, the Negroes have gone through so much hell. It's because they went back to hell on their own. And the problem is they have disguised it for the other nations like you're not in hell. Yeah, you're. it's a deception. You are walking on the back of Lucifer when you are not. See, because what they did, whenever you consecrate with blood sacrifices, the ground turns into scorpions. The ground, spiritual scorpion, it turns into spiritual, it turns into defilement. Because that's what happened when he cursed Cain, his land became barren. That he had to use sorcery to get the ground to grow because the ground was refusing to obey him. I'm not growing for you. No, forget it. Because the earth is always in, is in obedience to the most high. Okay? So then the Shaitani, this is man, you go, this is why you get a matrix. He will then become the ground for you so that you will be able to eat when you make what? A sacrifice. This is why they don't want to tell people that he will he will become what you ask for when the most high has turned his back, then he will then turn into, and that's why. He can you he the whole concept of manipulating your mind is you think you're seeing things. This is why Tatanzami said, I will send you the delusion. So then you will see something that isn't really there. And you will believe things that really didn't happen. And you will do things that you that most I don't see. Okay. Why is this significant? Because when we're gonna live. That's why they keep talking about this whole thing called now a syndrome. I'm laughing. I'm like, they're calling it a syndrome. And I saw it. I'm like, people are so gullible. It's not a syndrome. It's because they lied. You really have spirit. It's the, the demon makes the body. Not the, uh, the spirit makes the body. Not the body makes the spirit. No. OK, so this is why it's significant, the difference between the kingdom of the crowns versus the kingdom of the halos. If you are obeying the God who is the kingdom of the crowns, then you will not look like the demons. You will then transcend into another being, new creature. This is why I hate this whole concept of how to. You don't understand what, that's why when I talk about what the secret societies have done is they have parried the curse of Cain, which is why they have to use sorcery to make the creation do what they want, which is why they have to force the creation to, to obey them. The difference is when you act like the people who are from the kingdom of the crowns who teach people to be you know, kind-hearted, um, uh, um, not selfish, not prideful, you know, obedience to the most high's way, this is where you start to have um, 
uh, um, connections right to the creation again. Okay. But the problem is your balance will stay off until you cleanse the inside. Okay. This is what people don't understand. It's like America and other places like America around everybody around the world where you're drunk with this spirit. It's like you are conditioned to keep the inside dirty because you cannot uh, follow the times all this. It's like I told you, when you go back to what it says in um. You're always spiritually drunk. It's or you're not good kids. It's like when you're like you're tipsy. All right. So then when you go and you participate in the things that that Esau has taught as good. Okay. When I say Esau, I mean Lucifer. Okay. If you then say, hey, this is good, I don't see nothing wrong with it. It's like you said, you just said it. I don't see anything wrong with it. That's what causes that fourth child or that fourth seed, which is the rebirth of Cain and spirit, to now block your understanding of what is actually now dropping the veil of deception over you to where you say, I don't see anything wrong with this based upon what I've learned. And I said, that's the point. What you have learned is the problem. Okay, what you have learned is the problem, and what you learn is designed to steal the period, it's designed to steal the crown from it's designed to transfer the crown to the halo and don't let the halo come back to the crown. Okay, this is the concept of when you this is why I said be careful who's praying for you. When you say, oh, I'm going to pray for you, be careful who's praying for you. I learned this. Be careful who's praying for you. When you are in an oath, now I'm saying, you know, people have the most high, you know, people do cry out for their children. There's a connection there, Okay. Be careful who you're praying to, because if you're praying to the sorcerer, the sorcerer will grant your wish, but then he will also bring a curse with it. If you're praying to the one, the, the father of the one who's not the sorcerer, there is no curse. It's all a uh, bilaka. There is no curse. Okay, but when he sees idolatry, it's like what he says here. Why are you asking me? Go ask the obelisk to save you. Go ask the, uh, go, when you see that Statue of Liberty, and this is what's going to happen. You see America's crying out. He's telling people, hey, you see that Statue of Liberty you see out there in, in the harbor? Go tell him, go tell it to save you. And this is where the witch is playing her role because she is, this is where Wonder Woman comes into play because she's acting like she is, but there's a cost with it. Okay? For the Halo side, it's always a blood sacrifice involved. They just do it in different ways so that you don't catch on. There's always going to be, uh, it's like I told people, they create the bad and then make you feel shameful of it. And then they give you the good, but then there's a curse that carries that goes along with it. You don't see that the, when you don't have the spiritual connections, you don't see that you don't see that the contract that's been written, okay, on these things. So as Banabetu, why are you gonna see crime and, and why you see that things get worse in different places, but then things will get better in others is you're not aware of the contracts that have been written. Because like I said, the halo kingdom must look better than the crown kingdom 
without you realizing it. Okay, so when we go to this God, okay, here we go. It says, when they say Hashem is a Hebrew term for God, literally it means the name. But they're being deceptive about it. Because the name that they're talking to, and I'll pull him up, the, the number one, when you look at him up, okay, now watch what he is. He's the associated with wind, air, earth, and storms. He is first attested the chief deity of the Samaritan, but he was later worshipped by the Akkadians, Babylonians, Assyrians, and Hurrians. His, son, he, he, his primary center of worship was Eker, Ekha, okay? Take the uh, temple in the city of Nippur, Nippur, now you see why you do Nippers, or even Nippa, where you, where, you know, the, the woman's breast with nipples, okay? Nippa, I nip. Nippa, which was believed to have been built by, by him himself, he was guarded as the mooring rope of heaven and earth. You ever heard of moorings? <laughs> he also sometimes referred as this God, according to him, he, he himself was so holy that not even the God, other gods could look up upon him. Okay. Now, when you see, they'll say in the myth, he is the god of, of the flood himself in the flood myth. <laughs> this is why I tell people, man, you don't even know this is what they call in Jehovah, okay? The myth of this is about his seduction of the goddess in various guises and the concept of the moon god, Nana, and the underworld there. And then here's the underworld deal, N-E-R-G-A-L, N-I-N, and E-N-B-L-U-L-U. -L -L okay? He was regarded as the inventor of the matok, of the patron of agriculture. Okay? And so he is pretending to be the most high. Basically, Captain Zombie. Okay? His name comes from the ancient Semitic meaning Lord. <laughs> and the meaning which is contentious and which sometimes been interpreted as meaning winds, meaning winds as weather, the sky god, Lord wind or Lord storm. Okay. His parent is on. Was, the, was a divine personification of the sky king of the gods. Now, this is all bull garb. This is all garbage because he comes from Adama. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> with his, with his, with his, with his, with his form with his mother. <laughs> and you know who? Okay. He. Now. There's two concepts when we talk about key Congo or key. Okay. Now, when it did the CH, it became chi. Okay. This is why I told people it's about the spirit, not about the name. Key Congo means um, spirit of truth. Kinana, or what do we call it? Um, Kinana. Uh, Inanna, it means the spirit of the false eight, okay? Or it's like I said, there's a duality involved, okay? So Congo is truth, Baal is lie. Kibal, Kibal, okay, would be the wrong way. Kikongo or ki, ki, Kinzambi. Okay, that's what we say, Kadi on Pemba, Kadi on Zambi. Okay, Kadi, if you put the word Kadi, K 
card it says equal four it, it really means four or cause of um pemba um if you say kadi kadi they say white card but okay and then you say um Kadi and zombie and God. Okay, and the and the wrong okay, so Kadi and Pemba is the um okay. That's why Davidi prayed it said Lamboka na Bangogo Ya Bangogo means word longa preach teach longa teach. Longer or Matea, longer. Teach. Mono na kusala luzolo nange kadi. Okay, and nge ikeli in zambi na mono. Teach me to do your will for you are my God. Okay, now that's important right there. This is why the world is messed up by the teachers that, they're, that they've been listening to for so long. You're being taught according to what somebody taught them. And the assumption is they were taught correctly. This is the problem. Where the hidden hand of Hashem plays his role is no, everything turns back to me. While you're seeing, you're going in a circle. So no matter what you learn, no matter what you do, you're coming back to this hidden hand figure that hates the most high. Okay. So when a person involved with a secret society knowingly is praying for you, they are calling on Hashem. which is not in Semu, is you're calling on somebody else's ancestors. That's definitely not the most highs. When you call upon in Semu and Zambi, in Semu, uh, Yakongo, which is what our ancestors were, and Zambi, in Semu and Zambi, in Bote, okay? The good, the good, the Basantu, Basantu and Zambi in Semu, Okay, when you're calling upon these entities, this changes the effect of who arrives and who doesn't. And see, the problem is, in order for them to come, they must know who you are. Who are you? Ungubani. Ungubani. Now, here's how I learned when you're dealing with people who are not recognized. They are the ones that have offended the creator as far as the intent to cause the harm to his creation and his children. It's one thing, like I said, it's one thing to not be aware of what you did it's like a child that gets like, hey, let me let me show you what you did wrong. This is the whole purpose of guidance. The whole purpose of the manda, of the Zolo and Peve, okay, and Zolo, Zolo and Peve, is to show you, that's why he called it the comforter. It's to go and give you spiritual guidance through the kingdom of Hashem, Cain, the deceiver, Lucifer, and all of his traps. Okay? This is why we struggle today. It's because you think you have the hedge and you're in the pen where you're being picked up for food and you're being selected. Oh, let this one go escape and have a good time and get pay you off. But there's there's contracts for that. Oh, this one going to we're going to eat. 
Okay. It's all they play, it's like they're casting lots. They really are. Your name came up. When they really say your name came up, <laughs> oh, is it, it's time for you to go. Your name, the, the God's Lord's coming for you. Your name came up. That is a big deal that you don't understand. It's like on his side, it's casting lots. The reaper, it, 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 the reaper's coming for you because it, it, it's one angel. You can see they can masquerade like both sides. It's like, like I told you, if you were not in the kingdom of the crowns, then the kingdom of the halo is coming to tell you your time is up. Oh, the angel came and tell me. Which angel? Oh, God's angel. Which God? Okay. Tatan Zombie Maliki has an angel. We'll come tell you time is up. But then when you come, you're going to find out, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. This is not, it's, it's going to be different than what you have been told in any religion. You're going to be caught off guard because you're going to be talked about things that you never knew. This is what they know happens when they're out here killing. And see, that's why Tatan Zambi is like, all of the killing that's going on in the Congo is related to deals that were made in error. Because the, that's, why the, the, that's what the demon is called, error. With it, you're made a, you made a deal with the demon error. Okay? When you are talking to, that's why I said, if people are practicing voodoo or any type of sorcery with blood and, and sacrifice with animals, you don't understand. You don't have to be a warlock or a witch to curse yourself. You don't have to be. Because if you don't even notice it, that they have put incantations on everything, that's why we pray over it. People don't, that's why they say, well, like the person tried to tell me, um, well, if you believe it doesn't mean that you're giving it. I'm like, no, it's not about giving it power. The, the, what it is, is that I know what I'm, I know what I'm dealing with and I'm not bowing down to you. I see you, but you're not my God. Okay, now I'm going to show you something, how we got sold out so bad when it comes to this scripture. I'm going to take you to Hosea. And this is what the, the what they want to call the Sambo or the house Negro. This is what happened. And see what people don't know in the other, cult in the other cultures, your people have sold out your ancestors as well. But in your case, you were never making a deal with the right God anyway. So to them, it's all about, let's make a deal. That's how they play it. And they even put it in the game show. Let's make a deal. That's what you're really doing when you're talking to, to, to spirits. In church, in, in, in the, what I learned about in church is called, let's make a deal. That's why the most times, I didn't leave church. I left the deal. Because that's what you're doing. When you're talking to the sorcerer, you're making deals. When you're talking to the Most High, you're making the Wiza. You're making a covenant. Big difference. Okay? So when he talks about this whole concept, this is why the, the biggest deception that these people have been put under in their spell is you can never be equal to the gods you chase. You can never be equal. So whatever, wherever we went, so let's say we went to Buddha, okay? The, the people who were there, you'll never be equal to them because that God is not, you're going to chase it and you'll never get what they get. In order to get what they get, you're going to have to do a sacrifice you ain't going to like. This is what happens. The same thing when we went into captivity with these other nations, okay? You're not wanted. You're, want, you're not wanted to be, it's like, no, they didn't take you to save you. They take you to destroy your lineage, okay? 
it's like, no, I don't really care. I don't, I hate you. Okay. Okay, so nevertheless, the people of Isolene will be numbered as many as the grains of the sand of the sea. That's why they can't take us out. Okay, they've been trying, which cannot be measured or counted. So the time will come when instead of being told, you are not my people. So it's in when the time will come when you are, instead of being told, because see, there have been several times he said, we were told we are not his people. That's why they don't know his name. That's why they don't know the truth. That's why they don't know the, 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 the information. We were told we're not his people. So they're like, who is this God? Who is he? And even when we were singing in even afterwards, it's like, you're not singing to the, you're singing to the Nzambi pretending to be me, not the real one. Okay. Because he's always doing that. It says you are not, but and, and he said to them, you are the children of the living God. That's what this awakening is about. Then the people of Judah and the people of Israel will gather together. They will appoint themselves one leader and they will go out of the land. That would be the great day of the Day. Say to your brothers and my people and your sisters, rebuke your mother, rebuke her for she isn't my wife and I am not her husband. She must remove her whoring from her face and her adulterers from between her breasts. So like I said, okay, what is he saying? She must remove her whoring from her face and her adulterers from between her breasts. So it's like this. All of these man-made religions that you see that I, I posted many times, those are all of the adulterers that are between the breasts of the Banabetu of Isolene, including the three frogs. Because like I told you, Abantwe is what we were called. The Christianos is Hashem that they're singing to. Okay? They know that. It's Cain. So he says, otherwise I will strip her naked and place her as she was the day she was born. Make her like a desert, make her like a dry land and kill her with thirst. That's part of the reason why when he sold us to Rome, oh man, they tow it up, tow it up. They're going to see the history. Now watch this. He turned us into a harlot. So that's why I keep telling people, Lucifer became our pimp daddy and his wife became our mama son. <laughs> they don't tell you this. And so in this process, you're making bastard children in the spirit world all over the place. Bastard children. And that's why you're having issues with power and struggling. Because you have to rebuke all of this that you have done in order to re reverse the, the connection. Okay. I will have no pity on her children, for they are children of whoring. That's part of the reason why we got treated so bad. And people get angry, oh, but the women and the, oh, yeah, the, the problem is we made the mistake of going back to the devil, that the devil is not telling the world he's worshiping them. You cannot go and worship Satan and expect the Most High to love you and come back. You must get rid of Lucifer and come back. I'm included in this, okay? Now watch this. This is why when you see when they talk about they showing these people that had to go and do and, and do all these um, rituals where they got shamed and they got to put on the dress. Yeah, that's a mockery. He said, look at that. That's what they're doing. Look at look at the little look at look happened to you. Okay, it's all going to start coming. Like people are talking about what happened with P Diddy. <laughs> P Diddy, man, you that's he's he's a small fish. When I say this, he's a small fish in this. He's the medium. He ain't even the medium sized fish in all of this. The, this is bigger fishing. Man, you don't even know. 
Okay. Okay. I will have no pity. Their mother prostituted herself. She would be conceived, behave shamelessly. She said, I will pursue my lovers who gave me my food and my water. Well, flat, therefore, I will block her way with thorns. I put up heads so she can't find her past. So when I talked about how you can't, who, 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 how's he doing that? Through the dog God. He's the one blocking the path. That's why I say he's like this. No, 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 no. I'm not going to, you're not going to find him. Okay. Okay. The most I said, I told him to block your path. Okay, and so they wanted to make sure, nope. So this is the role that when the Knights Templars made the people the Freemasons, this was their job. And it's like, hey, you don't even get it. Okay. And it was and it was sad because they had no we had no business going after what they were doing. Okay. This is when they talk about the blind leading the blind into the pit. Okay. She will seek them, but won't find them. This is why you the people say, I can't, this demon, what happened? They disappear behind the veil. You can't find them, but they're there. And they're laughing at you. All of these following God, I'm like, oh my gosh. They disappear, but they're there. That's why they made up all these stories that they went to mythology. <laughs> and then the people fell for it. It's like, wow, they really put some serious spells on people. Man, science, I, I'm like, I can't even, I can't even step foot in these schools listening to the stuff they're teaching now because this is what happened to them. You really think, you really think that the demon that they call Saturn is now a planet with his rings. It's like, whoa. Okay. It's I, right, so like I told you, so now, why are we having this fight? Because he gave the gold and the silver and everything over to them. That's why I told you, we paying for this, we paying for this party on Saturday night and Sunday morning going to church going, oh, holly, oh, Father, help me, please. And he's saying, hey, go cry unto your what? That, that obelisk over there, that statue, that arch. Go cry unto your Eiffel Tower. Go cry to your Buddha. Okay? Don't talk to me. Go talk to Master Guru Isak, Isak, Isis Christus. The, 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 the one he telling people, I can do this, I can turn into... Boy... <laughs> This, the, the Wizard of Oz. Go, he said, go and pray to the Wizard of Oz. Okay. Now I will uncover her shame while her lovers watch. That is what we are doing. The Most High is now showing the world, look at my little slutty slut wife. Look at him. All out here. Doing the work, you're gonna see, oh man. The things that we have done is it's it's horrible. But see what he's looking at too is while these people were out here doing about it, y'all weren't paying attention to the people that needed to stop. Okay, you weren't paying attention to these people. And no one will save her from me. Okay? Now, people want to talk about, well, that's what's going on over here with these other... No, you see what Putin... That's why... That's why... I'm going to tell you, that's why when Putin started bringing out the truth, this is going to cover uncover our shame. That's what he just did. Because people are going to say, wait a minute. But then they out here slanging, killing each other in the gangs and slanging drugs. And the pastor's out here, you know, driving the Cadillac. And, yeah. 
now and in and, and they're doing the stuff in the in the in the music world and in the Hollywood, that's what we're doing here, people. We're our shame as a nation is gonna start being uncovered to the world. And they're gonna say, Oh wow. So these are the people that we really should have been okay. But then their shame will also be exposed because they believe the lie, okay? See, watch this. You want to talk about, people talking about call on the ancestors and, 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 you know, and help. I'm like, look at here. The Most High is not going to go and have pity upon people who bow down to Balaam. I keep trying to tell people this. There's going to be no pity. Okay? Oh, no. This is not about Christianity, people. Even the Mascendency himself said, I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. What he said was, either you're going to do it the right way or you're going to do it the wrong way. There's no in between. This gray area stuff that Lucifer taught you is a bunch of garbage. You cannot do both sides. You automatically, you cannot be a, don a, a mule. You got to be the horse or the donkey. You can't do both. And that's what people keep saying is like, well, I don't understand what's going on. I said, because you, the Mason tricked you that you can do both. It's a lie. The secret society people said, oh, yeah, you can go and, and do these things and then go do that. Oh, no, you cannot. You always go into this Hashem guy, the fourth son of Noka that he created when he thought you could do, oh, I can go get drunk and I can also do this. OK, I understand what I'm talking about because I'm in this fight every single day with this. Because this is what they have done to us. They made it to where you are struggling with control factors because of how we allow these things to happen. Our own people are doing this. It's like, nope, we're not going to change. Nope, we're going to still stand up here and, 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 and grandstand and, and, and put and make big speeches and do what we do. And nothing is changing for us because they cannot change it. He won't let them. They cannot catch the lovers. Those people who stand up there in the community, it will never get better because they're chasing the wrong God. And so they have you doing it the same way. And the whole world is chasing the wrong guy. Okay? But now I'm going to woo her and bring her out of the desert and speak to her heart. This is what we're going through right now. And I gave her her vineyards in the valley, okay? And the word for ishi, but they want to say toko. In ishi is not our word. That's that's Hashem. You're gonna call him ishi, then go to Hashem. You're gonna be like, hey, then that's that's your guy. That's not me. Hashem is not the same person. Hashem is Lucifer. That's why he said you want to keep speaking the Yiddish and thinking that these people that came out of. Uh, the, the Bakala, okay? Our Bakala is not Ishi. Ishi is Hashem. It's this guy. Look at the star for it. I'm telling you, it's this guy. It's him. When you can, when you're talking about that Shema Israel, this is who you're singing to right here. They know that. Because that's who they're singing to. Yep, wink, wink. All the secret societies are singing to this guy. When they go and do their, their dun, 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 and all their little part and all that stuff, this is who they're talking to. But the problem is, so when the Muslims go in there, uh, okay, same guy. And Christians, oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, okay? When that was never the name, this is the master guru Esau, Jesus Christos that they're talking to.
Same thing with Buddha. When they, yeah, okay, they do it in the mantra. This is the mantra. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you people, it's going to get bad after this next few weeks. You see, they already done dropped the bomb for this fake Easter week because I already told them, they, oh, they're going to, I saw these people doing uh, Palm Sunday. I said, man, Christianity does they never do the Passover right. Never. It's always, everything was about the Passover for that. Oh, but God and teacher. No, he didn't. He never changed. Again, listening to the wizard. We went through a set pattern of days. We never followed the Roman Julian calendar. No. If you're gonna let if you're gonna keep thinking this, man, good welcome to Atlantis. That's all I'm gonna tell you. And you're not gonna like it when you when that happens. I know how they going up all these like, like the lady did and the, they finally did they finally told you, welcome to the dog god land, okay? You're not going to the where you think. I'm telling you, okay? The Christians are convinced they're going to be up in, with Jesus in the upper room, okay? Uh, not if you are pagan. Because, well, you're going to be with Jesus in the upper room, all right, but it ain't going to be the Jesus you think. I said, I, you better learn the difference. I told people there's a real there's a real messiah and it's a fake messiah. You think they don't use the same name? But the one who the, the problem is the one who's the real messiah, he don't use that name. He knows where it comes from. Anytime you're dealing with a Masonic temple, Masonic presidents, Eastern stars, Illuminati, exactly. That's why you don't sit. Like I said, they disappear because the most I say you won't find them. They worshiping these gods. Oh no, we're not. Of course they're gonna play dumb, people. They can't. This he gonna give them. You know what to pay. You don't tell him that you're talking to me. He's invisible to the world because the Most High said it right here. He said it. You will not find them. And he said, You will not what? Overcome. You will never. Be able to. That's why I said you let these people. If they, all these years they were talking about we shall overcome. You will never overcome because he won't let you. You will never arrive because it can't happen. You will never be equal because you can't. Because you're chasing their gods and those are not him. So you've been playing this game for 130 plus, five, oh, 539 years actually. We've been, we've been playing this game since 1485, going after gods that we cannot have. He says here, I will end her, I will end her happiness, her festivals, her somebody, and um uh the uh Moyan Peve. We didn't have this stuff. I'm telling you, that's them. And all her designated times. That's why you don't have no clue what the feast days are. He ended them. Okay, oh, but we're supposed to follow the how do you do that on a calendar that's wrong? The Gregorian calendar is 100% wrong. You can only try to, like you said, you can only try to do your best. It's all backwards. Even if you follow the um the one that the Jewish people are doing, it's still wrong. You're doing this, like it says, you're doing things six days too early. 
found that out. They're going by the Gregorian, the the the, the, the they, those people are going by the um, Babylonian Talmud calendar. You follow them, go right ahead. You're gonna be wrong. <laughs> You're gonna be praying to Hashem like they do. Okay. Um, I will punish her for offering incense on the feast days of the Balaam. Oh, ho, 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 oh, 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 oh. If he's going to punish his people for offering feast days on pagan holidays, what do you think is going to happen to the heathen? Yeah, your pastor got you worship uh, doing, oh yeah, December 25th, Christmas. Okay. Oh, we doing the uh, truck or treat on Halloween. Oh yeah, we, we, we going by Rome's interpretation of the Passover. Okay. Oh, we celebrating these uh, 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 holidays. Uh, memorial, oh yeah, bah, 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 bah. okay. The most I said you wanted to be like them, you coming back to me, man. <sighs> you proud. That's why you said that poor child has you as the world so stiff necked and, and, and pompous and prideful because all of the rest of them followed it. This is what happened to uh Kama and, and Yapeta and everybody else. And, uh, and and uh, like I said, Esau's full of pride. Okay? I told people today, I said, look, your heart, my heart, everybody's heart needs to be humble. Everybody. Because I'm going to show you what's going to happen. I have had the revelation of this. Okay? Just like it says right there. This ain't about no old Christian. No. The people who caused Congo D and Totila to collapse and continue to be divided. Oh, yeah. That's all feast days to Balaam. You, so you're going to pay for that. That includes the kings, the queens, the uh, everybody. This is no joke, man. I told people. They were playing church with these secret society people. They wanted to be with Massa and not leave. Okay. You're going to pay for that too. The heathen going to pay for the fact that they believed that, that Esau was Jacob. Okay, right ahead. You're going to pay for that too. Okay. You think this rapture stuff and all, that stuff is not even there. The, the, people read the Bible, or it says Christians. How do you think they wrote it in? They they know the word was Bakhlistu. And it was really a Bantui. Okay? All they got to do is write stuff, and if you believe it, the most I said, fine. If you want to believe this, talking about people who not, who never had a covenant with me, Go right ahead. The covenant, your pastor can't tell you you have a covenant with me. I got to tell you that. The creator himself, just because you say, oh, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, the conf all these confirmation classes and everything that they did, that can't tell you you got the most high. He got to show you got the most high. You have been taught to accept the very same things he said, I have no tolerance for. So they say, well, how come the New Testament? Because the New Testament God and the Old Testament God, for one, the one, the Old Testament God is more like the one that is now doing what he's doing, but it's still mixed in with the imposter. 
the New Testament God that you think you have, oh, he just loves everything now. No, that's a lie. That's where the wizard came in there and started writing these things, even though when you actually read it, like you're supposed to, even the disciples said, no, look at what Kepa said. People are talking about, oh, we're Christianized. No, we're not. Watch this. I'm learning. Watch this. He did not say. Watch this. This is how you know these people don't read. They don't read their Bible. Let's go to it. That's what he said. Watch what he said, Kepa. He never, he never said the Most High loves everything about everything. Just because, no, no, no. Watch this. Therefore, rid yourself of all malice, of all deceit, hypocrisy, and envy. And of all the ways they are speaking against people, be and be like newborn Mwanan zombie, children thirsting for the pure milk of the word, so that by it you may grow up into deliverance. For the you have tasted that Adonai is good. And then he says, But what comes after you have gotten the pure word of the milk, it must then what? Grow into meat. They're going to put that, took that part out. The one is saying, hey, that part's gone. It got, you got to beat the pure murk, then they got to go into meat. Here's the problem. You sitting there in church on Sunday thinking that the milk is pure and it's tainted, it's stale, it's stank. And now you're waking up to that. Same thing with all these other religions. You're waking up to the concept, I'm eating spoiled rotten milk. So then how is it, then it's going to turn into bread, worms with bread in it. As you come to him, the living toddy or stone rejected by the people, but chosen by the infumal and pressured to him, you yourself, now watch this. This is why I told you the sorcerer is a trickster. You yourselves as living toddies, stone, plural, not just one guy, are being built into a spiritual house of the Zoan zombie. The Kohanim is the, the synagogue. We didn't call it that. That was their word. Set up, it's not, and what is it called? No, it's cert neither. <laughs> You're going to find out some stuff, boy. Watch, I told you, when you put the, when you put the word here, C-H-R-U-C-H, watch what happened when it translated in the Kikongo. Zone Zombie. That's what, Dibundu. That's what it was. All seven of them. They were Dibundu. They were in Zone Zombie. See, the Chris. You're talking about Christianized. The Christians don't know how to read their Bible. Full, 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 complete stop, over with, done, okay? Like he says, what did I do with it? You yourself are being built, set apart, is what we do with the Tula, or the, the, the Tanakh is really what in, in Kanda means. The Tanakh, I mean, you want me to tell you what the Tanakh is? You want me to tell you what the Tanakh is? <laughs> That's the book that shouldn't have gotten written. That's the book that should not have gotten written for disobedience. That's the Tanakh. Now watch this. This is why people are being humiliated now. Watch this. Look, I'm laying in Sioni or Tadi, a stone. You're going to keep getting humiliated when you're following the wrong guy. Watch. You're going to see this. 
the toddy stones. Matadi. See, this is what we're supposed to be. And Sadi, Masadi, servants. Matadi. He didn't say one person. You're going to see, boy, eee, you're going to find out. We're talking about some deception here. He didn't say one stone. He said multiple stones. Matadi. Okay? And the only way you can become Matadi is if you're not talking to Master Guru Isa, Jesus Christ, the sorcerer, who was a bond to himself, who turned himself like Cain, ooh, he's Hashem, will sit out somewhere. And he got many imposters. Man, he got so many imposters, like, been tricking the world for a long time now. He said, look, see, that's why Christians are now getting humiliated. You're talking to, that's why they're going, what's going on with our church? How come things are changing? Because you had the wrong toddy, the wrong rock. They know. You're talking to Hashem, not King Congo. <laughs> All right. And precious cornerstone, whoever rests his trust on it will certainly not be humiliated. So here's what happened. This is what's going to happen to us. All of us are now going to get humiliated. Every, every version of Christianity is going to get humiliated because they are praying to Hashem. Every version of Judaism, everybody practicing what they call themselves to be uh, Judaism, priests are going to be humiliated because I told people, and so they, they wouldn't be making all of these mockeries of him in Hollywood if he didn't exist. The Cowardly Lion, Lion King, um, Planet of the Apes, uh, Caesar, okay, General Thaden, Garbage, man, come on. King Kong. He, if he didn't exist, they wouldn't be sitting here mocking him. Oh, you better stop listening to some people. I'm telling you, okay. In Fumo Yisu Kuso Congo, okay, is the high priest. If you think he's not, I wish you luck in the next phase. He is the high priest. That's why people are starting to get themselves deceived, not even seeing stuff. I said, man, I, I saw this coming a long time ago. Once I realized I was worth talking to the sorcerer, I wanted to make sure I wanted to stay away from the sorcerer. But then I realized other people didn't even notice that he was still playing them all over the place. He is the one that rejected the cornerstone. The man of sin, that's why he's laughing. I've been in the Bible the whole time and they didn't see me. <laughs> he's laughing about it. He said, I've been there since they've started reading it. Who's the man of sin? Oh, it's Obama. It's, oh, I'm sitting there like, oh, my gosh. He's right there in the scripture. It's like, wow. They just have people just running around chasing their tail. Oh, this guy was the Antichrist. Oh, this guy was. You talking to the Antichrist because you can't even tell the difference between the good Jesus and the bad one. That's why you're getting, that's why he said, if you rest on the real one, then Putin, when he come out with his thing, it's like, oh man, <laughs> okay? But then at the same time, you better be careful because, oh man, that could still be Tammuz, he was black, okay? Also he, a stone, that will make people stumble, a rock over they will trip, okay? They are stumbling at the word, disobeying it. That's what happens. That's what happened to us. You will always be stumbling and disobeying in the word, always, okay? If you're gonna follow somebody that knows they're attached to the sorcerer and they're lying about it. 
don't trust people at face value. That's why the Captain Zombie says, you don't question that spirit, you're going to keep stumbling in the word. But be careful who then reveals things to you. It could still be like, a, like, a, like people talked about. Oh, I thought it was the most high again, but it was still the imposter. I'm like, yeah, he's not going to let you just leave out the door without still coming back with some more tricks. He got his bag is starting to get empty, more and more empty now, but he got a lot of tricks. So don't think that it's just going to keep going away. You get the revelation. You better check the revelation. I've learned this myself. When he says you follow the good shepherd, it better be the good shepherd. I told people the way you know the difference is you are getting empowered, not drained. You are getting revelation knowledge that's actually growing your spirituality in a positive way. Okay? And you're not being suckered into tricks. Gullibility is his greatest weapon. And he's used it so many generations on people, it's not even funny. And when you are now in some of these contracts, it's hard to get out of them. I'm telling you, it's very hard to get people out of contract that you brought them into if you weren't aware that you did it. The people don't even know the whole banking system, the whole system that you're living in, you're allowing yourself to fall into contracts. The creator said for right now, it's like, he got a, man, you're going to have to, you're going to see it. People don't know what they have sold. They have put spirits on their children by purchasing property that that property itself was taken from his own people and he lied about it. So now you bring curses. You want to know what's going on in this house. And stuff. You have cursed yourself when that when bad things keep happening in your house. What the heck? That, okay. That's why it's important. And people make it like it's quite, I, I said, look, you focus too much on the things that don't matter to the creator, you're going to stay there. Seriously. I know what I'm talking about. It's a struggle. You're going to stay with, with whatever you love more than him. It becomes, that's why the, the devil is always been green with envy. And purple, purple rain with with purple rain with with tears of, of frustration because he has to he has to be the bottom. And his tea fire is gonna always be for your cooking. Yeah, let them keep talking about barbecue. Okay, go right ahead. You're gonna keep bringing people to the barbecue or you man you may they may not even get you thinking i'm bringing these people to the barbecue with me and the most i said nope i played you this one here's exempt exempt, exempt. huh you keep paying your hashem god go right ahead keep paying this guy keep paying him Okay. And I'm telling you, okay, the most I'd like, fine. The day gonna come when it's gonna be the nightmare you never I that's it. Oh, but I know where we're going. I'm like, that's the whole point. Why do you fear the one that's gonna bring you to this guy instead of the one that's gonna take you away? Oh, I gotta stay in this, I gotta stay in that. Okay. Go right ahead. Because the reality is he's going to put our shame out there anyway. Everybody's going to know what we're doing. Read Hosea chapter 2 cor correctly. 
everybody's shame is going to be put out there for those who think they're getting away with something when it comes to how we've been led astray by our shepherds. Why do you think this is happening? You think P. Diddy going to be out there? Every last one of them Hollywood stars are going to be found out. Every last one of those uh, musicians are going to be found out. Every last one of these politicians, people who run their businesses, every, every church is going to be found out. You're going to see how this cycle of money is being used. This is just a start. You think Cat, Cat Williams didn't even scratch the surface, man. And, and, and they brought out their uh, Monique and all that. Yeah. Oh, boy. They showed his brother in a dog cage. I'm like, yeah. Everybody that made the that made the wizard mad been in that dog cage. Mm -hmm. I saw the dude hopping like a bunny. Oh yeah, hop like a bunny, cause you got you got tricked by the bunny rabbit. Oh yeah, and and we ain't gonna get into the other part. <laughs> I, I listened to a lady did a video on that point. I said, mm hmm. When you go, oh, oh, man. Mm, 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 mm. All because you want your name in lights. You want to be popular. You want to be, and I said, I knew there had to be a catch. I'm so glad I, I, I had that mentality. And I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I didn't go that route. Now, I know there need to be people that speak out and have these things in these platforms. That's great. But here's our problem. It should have never been like this in the first place if we didn't take the deal 130 years ago with the boule. We should have been out. We should have never trusted the one that sold himself out to begin with, that want to be in the house on fire. The Mason will not leave the house on fire. Never. Unless he want to go out. They, they know what happens. The Eastern Star will never leave the house on fire. Nope. So why do you listen to them? All these people that's out here doing this stuff for the, oh, for the community. This community is run by Lucifer. The whole world is stepping on his back. No, that's not true. Oh, you're going to see it. He can turn himself into anything. Oh, no. Nope. Puff the magic dragon. You're going to find out. You don't even know what you're driving on. That whole thing that happened, I said, look in here. That whole bridge, I'm so sorry. I hope people get out of the water. Like I said, you think that's an accident? You lying. None of this stuff that happens in this country, the only thing that makes them mad is when the most high says, oh, you thought you had that one. I got it. Phew. Oh, man. He got away. That's the one that got away. Everybody else, you don't understand. People say, oh, wow, I almost got hit. Oh, so my angel's watching me. I say, because you, have people, you got grandparents that put that made deal. Let's make a deal. Oh, wizard, please protect my children. Okay. Get how much? Oh, I got some. Huh, baby. Okay. He'll do that. He got to look good. Oh, what angel did that? The halo or the crown? Ooh. Do you know the difference? Oh, no. The halo angels, the, 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 the demonic angels, they would never help us. Oh, you have... They've been doing this for so long, man. Bring the good, the good cop, bad cop. Where do you think they got it from? Where do you think they got it from? This guy. Look what he says. Of justice and the God of the sun. Oh, yeah, I'm the good God. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. Okay. This is Lucifer talking about, I'm like, yeah, I'm good, yeah. Okay, this is where all these courts he's running into are running off of this guy.
every court you go to in America, Europe, Canada, everywhere, anything that's Masonic courts right here. And that's the whole, man, that ain't just America. That's the world. Everywhere. These people are doing this. You got set up from, from, the, from the jump, yo. As they say, we got set up from the jump. Yep. They were always, they were always stealing their soul for this guy. From the time you stepped out of the womb, if you want, if you were around these people, you're going to this guy. Everybody. Everything is a Masonic temple on this earth. <laughs> Surprise! Everything is a Masonic temple. That's why it's a fight to get up out of here. That's the big bomb. Everything is a mas like a Masonic. Even the, man, it, it don't matter if it's Illuminati or whatever or or Boule. It's, it's all the same. They talking to Hashem, yo. That's why I say if they praying for you, woo, you better be careful. They ain't sending this guy out, out there. Because they sending this guy everywhere. He can't be everywhere at once, but he's trying. When then the Most High is like, oh, it's, it's, time to, it's time to go. That's why I said the Most High is now in the purging process of everybody who thinks this guy is him. <clears throat> Seriously. The Mesopotamian sun god that's now called Soul Invictus, okay, it's not the most high. All right. Zola Quingy, the Sambalolo. I'm going to do a song. I'm going to sing it, though. And pull it up. Yesu, Ebo Bese. Ewiza kwamono kina samona kwawosono Ewiza kwamono kina samona samona Yesu Christu imvuluzi samona samona Jesus Christ to involve the nasco to canto zame o cor Colombe kakala ya mama mamu bama kwa kabasi sila zangan zandi sakwelenvu yeto amosan tu kiki nzu samona samona Jesus Christ to involve See, you didn't see no Jesus Christ. They, that's the translation, but that ain't what we said. Samona, Samona. Jesus Christ to involve We knew that name before Christianity even knew his name. Okay? And now, okay, the next one. Ndingan Zambi Ovanga. Maya muva mumu tu sanga tu singangwa natawa ena hinu igubu uwi kwigilu samona samona Yesu Christu involuzi samona samona. Yes to please to involve Ding and Zambi of Obanga. Moya Muva, you want to sing on one. Natawa and I move. In Guba the Greek Lu. Samona, Samona. Yes to please to involve Samona, Samona, Yesu Christu in Vuluzi, Yelele, Yelele, 
You can see how they did it for you to learn. Uh, I'll even put it back if you want to pause it. That how they tell you what the words mean. Wiza, it wiza the power, the force, the authority. Kwamono is um uh, I am a man. See? All right, Zola Klingi, Samalolo, in our ways of Yavo Kongo Kutwala, Ingeta, Bayetin Kosi, 